for the first down. First down, Houston at the nine. So it'll be first down, goal to go. The situation once again, Nebraska leading 14 to 10. 48 seconds left to play in the game. Unofficially, Houston has one timeout left. Here we go. Herring to the right, Brown to the left. Newhouse. Now it's Elston. After a kick to Newhouse, full name. Takes it down to the neighborhood of the five, and now the Cougars will have to use their last door now. from Bill Yeoman, 337 bootleg, and they're gonna try to throw the football, and Terry Elson's gonna tell somebody that's not in the end zone, try to get out of bounds. He also told him, don't get tackled. Easy for him to say. Yeah, huh? that's, don't get tackled, but score. Yeah, Tom Osborne, very concerned right now. Ball is at the six yard line, second down. Goal to goal, Houston, 33 seconds left to play. And looking, protection is good. Now he's in trouble. He's at the 10 and goes out of bounds at the six. Got back to the line of scrimmage when all was said and done, and it took all of nine seconds. I tell you, he'll take some years off of Bill Young. Don't you think you might get on the roll of one? We right, we right. You say wing right? Roll out right, you say wing right, roll out right, pass, pass option. Elston has over 90 yards rushing now. Fee on the wing, off to the right. Third and goal from the six yard line. Elston, incomplete at the goal line. Intended for Fee. for the Houston Cougars. Fourth down, goal to go from the six yard line. And I think the R man, of course, is the flanker right, the split end right, and it'll be probably be number 21, trying to go to Eric Herring, number 21. 19 seconds left to play in the game. Elston over the middle, it is caught for a touchdown. Herring! The deflection for the touchdown. It was deflected too fast. We got on the button. And Tom Osborne is not too happy about that. All flex. It went to Eric Herring, just like Bill Yeoman called it. And Bedlam was breaking loose. Let's take a look. Here's Herring fighting his way over. It's deflected by Rick Linkless and number 21, Eric Herring, the junior from Houston, has a big touchdown for the Cougars. So the penalty will be assessed prior to the extra point try, I believe. Wow, what a finish. Elston took over the controls of Houston's last drive. Let's pick it up. Dead ball foul. After the score, offense will be enforced on the kickoff. You got it. too many people on the field. No kidding. There's about 106 <laughs> Houston players came out on the field to congratulate Harry. Oh my. 12 seconds left. <laughs> no, no, I don't. We got a 15 yard penalty. Well, he's not having about the penalty. Hatfield 
with the extra point try and I guess he hasn't missed since grade school. That's another point to the Cougars total. It's now a 17 to 14 game. 12 seconds left. What do you do now? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Terry Elston for the fourth time this year has brought Houston back from the parent defeat. This time he threw the touchdown pass to Eric Terry. I'd like to thank a few people if we have time here at all the bedlam here. Chairman of the board of the Cotton Bowl Association, Buddy Dyke, the president John Thompson, Jim Brock, Arnold Hayes, Harry Barton, Houston Cougars, Dr. Cedric Dempsey, the athletic director, Bill Yeoman and his staff, Frankie Schultz, the sports information director for the Cornhuskers, Bob Devaney, the athletic director, Tom Osborne and his staff. Don Bryant and his uh, sports information staff, our Houston spotter Matt Rogers, Bill Bennett who's spotting for Nebraska, and our statistician Gary Stratton. And I tell you, stepping in here uh, to start of the second period as the uh, the bullpen guy, I can tell you they were invaluable. Harry, you might recall, had a spectacular catch against Texas A&M in an earlier Houston victory. Great concentration to catch that deflected ball on fourth down. Hatfield will be kicking off. That's Brown at the 15 yard line, 25. Tried to lateral the ball. And it's recovered by Houston at the 13. Four seconds to go. Trying to pull out all stops. Well, it's been a long wait for the Cougars. After losing to Notre Dame last year, 35 to 34, they were ahead in that game, 34 to 12 in the final period, and they've had to wait a full year to uh, come back and atone for that. And Bill Yeoman's got to be a happy man, and you got to admire the way that the cool, his cooler in that closing drive. Tom Osborne. Looked like they had it for a while. Four seconds to go. Stand up and then go to your knees, okay? Take the ball and step back. Okay? One more play and that'll do it. And the 1980 Cotton Bowl Classic will be history with the Houston Cougars. Well, Lindsay, you were absolutely right. Lindsay made a comment that Bill Yeoman said that they would come to play the full 60 minutes, and boy, has Houston. Another great fourth quarter come from behind victory. As Elston simply falls down with the football, it is over. It is history here at the Cotton Bowl, and Houston has rallied for an impressive 17 to 14 victory. It is good a postseason bowl game, as I think you're going to see. Yeoman accepting congratulations from some of the Nebraska players as well. 18 years at the University of Houston. Last four years, his team has been in the Cotton Bowl. Three of them 